What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Out channel and uh, welcome to I guess a new series where I'm going to be giving 5 tips on each of the heroes and troops in the game to help you guys become a little bit better at the game Clash of Clans. And we're going to be starting off with the heroes and the most basic hero at that which is the Barbarian King. He's a very simple hero. He's the first hero you get in the game. Before we jump to the tips, go ahead and look at the uh, Barbarian King statistics so that way we know what we're dealing with here. We've got the Barbarian King at 10,000 hit points, over 10,000 hit points, damage per second at 550. And then we go over to his ability which is called the Iron Fist. He gets increased his speed, damage, and he gets a little bit of health recovery along with summoning barbarians. So going back to his main statistics again, over 10,000 hit points. The first tip is going to be around his hit points, which is he is the biggest tank in the game. He is the number one tank out of all the heroes and troops and super troops in the game. He is the biggest tank. He's got the most hit points out of any unit in the game. He should be used for primarily tanking purposes unless he's being used for pathing, which we'll go over in a different tip. But yeah, the Barbarian King should be in the front of your troops. He should be in front of your queen. He should be whatever you want to use him in terms of tanking. He can get the job done. He has enough hit points to survive uh, at least a little bit to get some value and create a little bit of tanking for whichever unit you want to protect. Piggybacking off the first tip, we've got a smaller tip that has to deal with tanking once again. And that's going to be, again, placing him in front of those troops in like spammy attacks. So like, let's say like a Bow Witch or like a, like when I'm farming at Town Hall 11 and up, I use a, the Queen Walk Pack of Bowler. This tip only applies to like Town Hall 11s and up because um, anything lower than that doesn't have the Eagle Artillery. So by placing your King first or on the side or just away, just placing him first in general is, is going to let you distract the Eagle Artillery for the first few shots or whatever it is because the Eagle Artillery works on hit point density, which means that... Um, the artillery targets whichever unit or whichever units create the highest hit point density within their units. So, so if you're doing a spammy attack like the Bow Witch and you place your king first along with like your giants or if you're using a couple Pekos, whatever it is, the Ego Artillery is going to target the king first because among that, the among the highest point density, he is the highest hit point user. So the Eagle is going to fire on him. And that's just another way for the king to tank. If you place down all your bowlers and witches first or your whatever it is for your units. Before you place down your king, the Eagle Artillery will activate and target the bowlers, which will die almost instantaneously from the Eagle shots, instead of having the king tank those Eagle Artillery shots as you make your way into the base. But, all right, next up, tip number three is pathing. This tip can be applied to Pekkas, Valkyries, Yetis, or anything else that you want to use for pathing, but because the king is used so much in pathing, especially in the higher levels. So, we can see the base here. We've got a Town Hall 13, and I'm going to focus in on these four little, like, quadrant style building structures this is what a lot of town hall 13 a lot of higher town halls do um, they set up these like two layer outside building structures to almost disrupt your pathing and your funneling so it makes it harder to um, direct your units into the base but with the king he can easily chop down bases like this taking advantage of the four quadrant little structure thing that we got going on here so uh, what you're going to want to do is if, if you want your king to go to the left side of the base to clear out the left side um, you're going to want to place them on this factory first but like angle him to the right side so that way in proximity because that's how the king works i mean that's how most units in the game work whichever is the closest to the king next is what he will go to so if he's on the right side of this factory and he's angled he's going to go to the collector then the tower then the mortar and then up to the cannon and then from there that'll clear out the left side of the base so that way you can take down um, whatever you need to take down and set up set up the pathing for your units to make it into the base for your queen charge whatever it is that's how you want to really focus on your pathing if it's a simple path if it's a simple funnel if it's just like one layer of buildings just place them in one direction he's going to take it down pretty easily and again if you want to go to the right side of the base um, just have your king on the left side of that collector he's angled towards that factory he's going to go to the factory down to the mortar down to the you know the archer tower and then bounce out to the right side and that's pretty much how you um, use pathing for the king or any other unit that you want to pathing you know pekka valkyrie yeti the same principles can be applied all right now the last two tips are going to revolve around the exact same thing which is the uh, using the ability for the king so there's two different instances when you should use the ability um the first one is like the default time to use it so again we're going to go over to his ability really quick and again his health recovery with using his ability is about 4300 which is almost half of his health so the best time to use the king ability is when he's about 60% down. So if you can get about halfway and you see he's like half health, that's probably the best time to use it. You prolong his ability, you prolong his life, and uh, you prolong the value that he gets for whatever you're trying to use him uh, in that particular moment. So that's usually the default like ability user, especially if he's like on the outside pathing, not taking a lot of damage, but just kind of getting like picked off a little bit. Um, use it when he's got half health, he's gonna clear out a lot more and he'll stay alive a little bit longer to distract or clear out whatever it is you're trying to clear out the second one and the final tip for the barbarian king again going back to the ability 
And this is very subjective and it only kind of comes into play when you're using the king for a specific objective. And in terms of like taking down a hero or getting him into a compartment, if he's taking a lot of damage right away, you want to use his ability almost immediately. So that way you can prolong his ability. His ability only lasts 10 seconds. So if you use the last tip in order to take down a specific objective like the queen in a compartment or even in the enemy king or whatever it is, and you wait for that 50% while he's taking damage from a hero and he's taking damage from defenses, um, he'll probably only last like four or five seconds, but the ability can go up to 10 seconds, which means you lose that last four or five seconds of his ability, which means you don't get to use him to his max efficiency. So if you're going to, you know, sui your king into a hero, an enemy hero, or like a heavy enemy defense like scatter shots or whatever it is, make sure to use it immediately so you can get the uh, maximum duration of his ability and get the most benefit out of him. But uh, that's pretty much all I have for the king here. Very, very simple. Uh, he's the basic, you know, king. You get him at Town Hall 7. A lot of people um, probably already knew these things, but in case you didn't, hopefully um, you do now and it helps you guys out. But that's all I have for the video, guys. We're going to be back for the other three heroes, and then we're going to dive into all the troops, and uh, we'll go from there. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped. If it did, definitely appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.